You know, I, like a lot of people, tend to admire those individuals who have big ideas, who are passionate about what they do and take bold actions to achieve their dreams. And I've spent over two decades engaging with, listening to, and communicating to employees and managers. I've worked with dozens of executives, writing their keynotes, producing conferences, creating company-wide call to actions by way of digital media. On the employee side though, what I heard over and over was that employees valued communication and inclusion the most. And leadership just wanted employees to care. In this day and age, when an employee becomes an advocate for a company, you know, they tend to be more of an advocate for a person, like a manager or a trainer. The title really doesn't even matter. The real question is though, is how can a brand develop a broad group of trusted employees to be their advocates? Funny enough, that starts with one person, and it's called engagement. And I'm not talking about the once a year survey. Where do you start? Well, whether it's advocacy, referral, or loyalty, think through what's in it for the employees, and then think through what's in it for the brand. Those two needs will no doubt be different at first, and it may take a while, but over time, they will connect. Take, for example, Oracle. They wanted to create a place where they could share job postings with employees as a way to source talent. This engagement program started out as an external sharing program. And um, it, they found success in that program. But what happened over time? Well, the employees actually became more and more engaged. They asked to be informed about what was happening, not only with the job postings, but the latest product offerings and the latest blog posts. They wanted to share it on their personal social media, go figure. They also created something really cool called a Fancy Friday where everyone in the company would come dressed up to work with tie and dressed up, go figure. What happened to the casual Friday days? Photos were taken and posted on Instagram, you know, like fancy professional kind of images. And it was fascinating how it engaged both external and internal audiences. External people were seeing the company as a fun company to work for. They saw style, the zazz, you know, Oracle really created a personality for themselves. And the internal people began requesting themes, like they had an overwhelming request for a pirate theme. The next week, one of the co-workers was having a baby, so everyone in the company brought their babies to work that day. And I can just imagine zero was accomplished that day. One of their employees even shared one of their dress-up days and received over 135 unique likes. That's just incredible. It really took on a life of its own. It was something they could they could attach themselves to. This kind of engagement starts with one person though. If it's truly authentic, if that person truly cares about people, it will spread organically. I believe if you can see it, you can achieve it. Try this. In the theater of your mind, what would an employee engagement program look like in your company? Would it be an external sharing tool? Or would it be more of an internal engagement resulting from allowing people to experience something new, learn, or maybe just know that they're making a huge difference.